Hello everyone, this is case number 38 of MSK series. Our patient today is uh, 55 year old. Patient with chronic pain and swelling of both knee joints. It's a chronic uh, dull ache of both knee joints. So this is the anterior posterior radiograph of both knee joints in a skeletally mature patient. So you can see abnormalities in both knee joints. There are multiple rounded radio-opaque structures in both knee joints. We call it uh, intraarticular loose bodies. So there are multiple intraarticular loose bodies in relation to the knee joint and uh, bone density and trabecular pattern normal in these bones and in addition to those loose bodies just narrowing of joint space you can see intraarticular loose bodies then there's associated narrowing of the joint space subchondrosclerosis medial joint space is more pronouncedly narrowed and subchondrosclerosis few osteophyte formation also there and no significant soft tissue swelling of the knee joint you can't see any lytic lesions in the bones visualized bones no fractures no dislocation of the knee joint so there's osteoarthritis. So in this case the diagnosis is synovial osteochondromatosis. So this is secondary synovial osteochondromatosis because there is osteoarthritis in knee joints in elderly patient so it's a novel osteochondromatosis uh, has two parts primary and secondary primary one occur, occurs in the childhood and uh, there are no significant osteoarthritis changes and loose bodies are multiple and similar size and smaller in second sign Synovial osteochondromatosis. They occur in old age associated with osteoarthritis. Multi, uh, the loose bodies are less but large and varying in size. So, pathophysiology wise, first there is synovial proliferation. And Metaplasia of synovium into chondroid matrix. After that, there's detachment of chondroid bodies. Detachment of cartilage from the synovium. Ultimately, this Cartilaginous loose bodies ossified. That's the, these are the steps in pathophysiology. So it's a unique appearance in synovial osteogonomatis. This however we can get a differential diagnosis. Uh, one is uh, pigmented below nodule synovitis. If there are no calcifications or ossifications in the loose bodies one differential diagnosis is PVNS then uh, okay. then synovial hemangioma then synovial chondrosarcoma
so those are the few differential diagnosis for synovial osteochondromatosis so this is the unique appearance of synovial osteochondromatosis so this ends case number 38 of msk series please subscribe to our youtube channel and then you will get notifications of our videos and you can comment on our videos thank you